Hello and welcome back to Ebenezer. We have a great show in store for you. Coming up we have a Bible story where Jesus raises someone from the dead. And we also have a craft where we make special bunting. But for now it's time for another song and it's called His Name is Prince of Peace by Michael Tinker. Do sing along. In darkness, they have seen a great light. The people living in darkness have been called out of the night. His name is Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His name is Wonderful Counselor. Mighty God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. He's the King, King Jesus. He's the King, King Jesus. He's the King, King Jesus. He's the King. darkness, but we have seen a great light. We were living in darkness. Jesus called us out of the night. His name is Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His name is Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God. What a great song. Now it's time for our Bible story where we hear about Jesus raising someone from the dead. Let's see it happen. Soon after giving his sermon, Jesus went to a town called Nain and his disciples and a large crowd went along with him. As he approached the town gate, a dead person was being carried out. The only son of a widow and a large crowd from the town was with her. When the Lord saw her, his heart went out to her, and he said, Don't cry. Then he went up and touched the frame they were carrying him on, and the bearers stood still. He said, Young man, I say to you, get up. The dead man sat up and began to talk, and Jesus gave him back to his mother. They were all filled with awe and praised God. A great prophet has appeared among us, they said. God has come to help his people. This news about Jesus spread throughout Judea and the surrounding country. Well, what a great Bible story. Now we're going to see if we can figure out what it means for us. And to do that, we're going to need the help of our feathered friend, Zelda. Let's dive into the passage. How does Jesus react when he sees the widow's son? Well, as soon as Jesus sees this woman, Luke says that his heart went out to her and he says, don't cry. Isn't that amazing? He's instantly filled with compassion and sympathy. He doesn't want her to be upset. And it's so important for us to know that Jesus isn't a distant God. He's lived and walked among us and he knows our pain and he wants to bind up the brokenhearted. How does Jesus bring the man back to life? Well, we know that Jesus is all powerful because he's the son of God. He has power over life and death. And this goes beyond what we've seen in his other miracles. He's even raised someone from the dead. And it goes even further later on in the story, where we see that Jesus defeats death once and for all, when he himself rises back from the grave. Why do the people call Jesus a great prophet? A prophet was an important person who was chosen by God to lead his people and show them God's will. Uh, but Jesus isn't just a prophet. 
prophets were people from the Old Testament like Moses and Elijah, but Jesus is even more special than they are because he's the Son of God. What does this mean for our lives? Well, firstly, we can see that Jesus is full of compassion and we can take heart from this. His initial response is to say don't cry and he works to make sure that we're never upset or sad. It's so good to know that we have a God who's so loving and kind. But secondly, we can see from this passage that death is not an obstacle to Jesus. He can raise people from the dead and therefore we can know that death is not the end. So death is a thing that makes us all sad, especially when those close to us pass away. But as Christians, we can know that Jesus has the power to give us eternal life. So death is not the end. What are we going to learn about next time? Next time, Jesus tells us about how great John is. Now it's time for the memory verse. Today's memory verse is from Psalm chapter 145, verse 9. And it says this. The Lord is good to all. He has compassion on all he has made. So let's say that again. The Lord is good to all. He has compassion on all he has made. Now it's time for the craft. Today, we're making bunting. For today's craft, you will need some plain paper, some coloured paper, some scissors. Remember, scissors can be sharp, so be careful and ask an adult for help if you need. Some string. A hole punch, a marker pen, some colouring pencils, pens, pastels or paints. And finally, any other decorative bits you can get your hands on. I'm using some glitter glue, but you can use felt, stickers or anything else you like. Now let's get cracking with the craft. To start with, take your coloured paper and your plain paper and draw out a few triangles. Each triangle should have two longer sides and one shorter side, which will be the top. You can do as many triangles as you like. We're going to be making bunting, so the more triangles you make, the longer your bunting will be. I'm going to do two white ones and four coloured ones. Once you've drawn your triangles, it's time to cut them out. Remember, be careful when using scissors and ask an adult for help if you need. Now let's decorate our triangles. On my coloured ones, I'm going to write celebrate and here's risen. I'm also going to use some glitter glue to decorate around the outside. On my white triangles, I'm going to draw the cross using my marker pen. Then I'm going to colour it in using my pastels. Once your triangles are fully decorated, it's time to string up the bunting. Take your hole punch and use it once on each triangle so that there are two holes on the top of each of your triangles. Then cut a long piece of string and thread it all the way through all of your triangles, making sure to weave in and out of the holes like I've done here. Now our bunting is finished and ready to hang up to celebrate how great Jesus is. Well, what a great craft. Do send any photos of your craft or any questions you have through to the email in the description below. But for now, it's time for another song and it's called The Rest Lullaby by Michael Tinker. Just what you've done 
But your sin has been washed away He's cleaned you through His Son Come to me, all who struggle And I will give you rest Come to me, all who struggle I will give you rest You can rest when you're angry The things are not your way You can rest when you're fearful Just hear your father say That since he made the whole wide world Knows the best for you He will give you what you need the most He knows just what to do Come to me, all who struggle And I will give you rest Come to me, all who struggle I will give you rest You can rest when it all goes wrong And tears stream down your face You can rest when you've lost someone For God will make a place Where there will be no suffering Never say goodbye For our Father He will live with us We'll never need to cry Come to me All who struggle And I will give you rest Come to me All who struggle I will give you rest. We're running out of time now, so we're going to end in a short prayer. If you'd like to make it yours, please join in with the Amen at the end. Lord, thank you that you're a God who's kind and compassionate and who gives us hope. Thank you that death is not the end, but that you've promised all who believe in you eternal life. Amen. Amen. Well, that's all we've got time for. Do tune in next time where Jesus tells us about John. But for now, that's bye from me and it's bye from Zelda. And we'll see you in the next video.